O Circuit Day 4. My friends and I have been on the trail since 5.21 a.m. We got to go up and over John Garner Pass. It's about three miles. I think about 2,700 feet of elevation gain. But not too worried about that so much as just not wanting to get stuck behind everyone on the pass. So we got up early. Been on the trail for about 35 minutes now. And so far, the worst part is just the mud. This is nasty. Hiking or climbing up there, Pika? <laughs> Suddenly we got views. The sunrise color. Some snow up there. Now we're starting to catch up to people. I believe that's the pass straight ahead up there. We'll see. And the mud has become snow. Look back behind at Rock Hound and a friendly Canadian. So tree line here is apparently only at like 2,500 feet. That's crazy. In Colorado, it's like 12,000. <laughs> Getting there, it's been pretty easy so far. Look, there's some blue glacial ice up there. And then up there. I stopped to tie my shoe and I found this little friend here. And this guy was hitching a ride on my glove. Look at those colors. You got babies around? Looks like the last push right up here. Very close. Had a little bit of sunrise colors earlier, but looks like it's snowing down there too now. Getting steep here in this last part. Let me just say, I'm really happy to have my micro spikes right now. <laughs> this is pretty steep and icy on the way up. Here comes the gang. I've been breaking trail for them. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, Glow Trail. You're welcome. <laughs> One last little bit to go, and I think then we'll be over. That glacier over there. Dang, that is dramatic. Here we are at the top. Ooh, that's where I came from. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. It took me two hours and 18 minutes to get from Los Perros to the top of the pass. And that was with a lot of mud and breaking trail through snow. So if you come in a drier time when there's no snow, you can probably do it even faster. If you're a pretty, if you're in decent shape, an experienced hiker backpacker. Yeah, not bad. Oh, my nose is running. Ah, oh, not bad at all. Great day so far. Yes, I think I could have done that without micro spikes, but I was really happy to have them. Oh my word, this is crazy. Look at that, that's a huge ice field down there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can see a bright blue iceberg out of the bay. How cool is that? This is absolutely incredible. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It's, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Look how blue this ice is up close. It's pretty dirty though too. So this is all apparently one huge glacier. 
This is Glacier Gray or Gray Glacier, depending on how you want to say it. And yeah, it's all just one massive glacier. How crazy is that? It's pretty steep and icy going down too, so glad to have the spikes here as well. Wow, this is so steep going down that there are ropes to hang on to. This is all solid ice coming down. I take back what I said about micro spikes maybe not being necessary. I think they're necessary. It's mid-November. There's just a ton of ice. The trail is steep. I think it'd be really hairy without them. So these orange things are apparently parasitic mushrooms that attack beech trees. Here's a closer look. Found one of these on the ground. It feels really like rubbery. Very bouncy. Interesting. <laughs> I keep thinking that's a lake out there, but no, it's a glacier. bunch more of these beautiful orange flowers. This forest is really lovely. Made it to the next Konaf camp where we had to register again with our passports. And they're doing construction here. Like, I don't know if that's a, gonna be a bunkhouse, but it's massive. Also, Moss was the first one here for the day, and I was the second one here for the day. Go us. Oh, look, little teeny tiny ones. We stopped for a coffee break, and then several people caught up to us. So, definitely think it was the move to leave early this morning and have that just tremendously beautiful trail all to ourselves. Look at those little tiny icebergs out there. Morning. There's a bunch of those red flowers. We have arrived at Suspension Bridge number one. Moss says there's multiple. I almost crouched down and just stayed there. <laughs> oh, there's Pika coming up behind me. Oh, gotta climb down a ladder. Is this Maine? Look at all this pretty moss. These are so dense through this area. Suspension bridge number two. Big blue iceberg again. We have made it to the campground, but tonight we're going to be fancy and not sleep in a tent. Instead, we're gonna stay in the refugio, which is like a hostel along the trail. Check out where we're staying tonight. Bucky number 
11. Ta-da! Hooray! We're gonna shower? Wow. Checking out the waterfront as we sign up for a glacier excursion for tomorrow morning. Tonight we got the dinner in the refugio. I got veggie soup, rice and beans, a veggie patty, some veggies, bread, 